What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite old tricks from my favorite game Halo 3. Some of you legacy players may already be familiar with this trick but I'm hoping that even if you are you'll still enjoy this video and if you haven't seen this trick before then it'll be useful for your legendary runs on Halo 3. This can work on any difficulty setting from easy all the way up to mythic and laser difficulties and what I'm going to show you today is how to obtain Sergeant Johnson's infinite spartan laser while also skipping a sizable portion of the mission. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is grab a battle rifle from one of the many weapons scattered around the pelican. This is going to be critical later on. As you continue to move towards the opening, as soon as you get through, flood drop pods will fall to the ground and one of those flood forms will be wielding a gravity hammer. Take it from him as quickly as you can. After this, you're going to want to move up the left-hand side of the map, and if there are any flood forms that are chasing you, get rid of them quickly. Usually the Arbiter is pretty good about keeping them off your back. Once you've reached the left side of the tower, you're going to want to approach this specific snowbank. From here, you're going to throw down a fragmentation grenade right around this area, and then jump, and as soon as it explodes, it should boost you to the ramp that'll lead to the first platform. Should be noted here that a fragmentation grenade is your grenade of choice here because it has a much bigger boom for your buck. Once you're on the platform itself, this is where things start to get a little bit more tricky. You want to switch to a plasma grenade here. The reason for this is because it won't bounce around like a fragmentation grenade. You're going to throw the plasma grenade right here and then jump as soon as it explodes, or right before it explodes I should say, and swing the gravity hammer at the same time. This should boost you to the spine of the building. It does help if you have the cowbell skull activated as well. From here, you can climb to the very top of the temple. Once you're here, you're going to want to jump to the snowbank, and this will allow you to be along the cliffside where Sergeant Johnson is covering you with his laser. Now it's time to get out your battle rifle. Travel over to Sergeant Johnson's location and shoot him in the head. If you're lucky, he'll drop his Spartan laser over the edge. What he'll do this time is when he gets back up, he will spawn with an infinite laser. His first laser is not infinite, but the second one will be. At this point, you'll want to shoot him again and quickly trade out your weapon for his Spartan laser. At this point, you'll now have an infinite laser that you can use all the way up until you get to the Guilty Spark boss battle. But we're not quite done yet. So you want to use the Spartan laser for the rest of the mission. How do you do that? After you're done with the boss battle, you spawn with only an assault rifle. But I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Before you actually enter the room with Guilty Spark, you're going to want to juggle one of the other many weapons dropped by a flood combat form into the room with you. You're going to stop and drop the Spartan laser just outside of the control room. After you're done fighting the boss battle and you kill Guilty Spark, when you come back out, the Spartan laser will still be there waiting for you and you can bring it with you all the way up to the end of the mission. And that, my friends, is how you can use a Spartan laser with infinite ammo and skip a sizable portion of the mission for the last mission of Halo 3. So what did you think of this trick? Did you find it useful? Are you going to use it yourself the next time you're playing this mission? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts and opinions, and I'd love it if you would share them with me in the comments below, or feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And I hope you did enjoy today's video. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to watch it. And if you did like it, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythicTower.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.